Let's talk electric vehicle charging. I'm going to organize this into two sections. In the first section, we're going to talk about the three different levels of charging, level one, level two, and level three. This, as you might imagine, the lower level is the slower charging, the higher level is the faster charging. In the second part of the video, we're going to talk about the different types of plugs. Some plugs only work on Tesla. Some plugs only work on plug-in hybrids. Um, some plugs only work for Japanese-made electric vehicles. There's a lot of confusion out there, and it's kind of a lot to cover. So let's get started. So first, charging speeds. So every electric vehicle charges at different electric speeds and that translates to more miles gained per minute or per hour of charging. But you can break it down into three levels. Level one is they call it a trickle charge. This is the slowest possible way to charge your car. Ideally, you would only use this in emergencies or in areas where you can't get any other charging. charging ve char electric vehicle charging infrastructure hasn't reached that area. For an example, I went on a trip to Mammoth uh, last summer and I drove up in my Chevy Volt and I naturally spent most of the time going there on gas because the Volt can only do 50 miles electric and the rest is gas so I spent most of the time on gas but my cousin he drove there on his Tesla, on his Tesla Model 3. They do have Tesla charging stations throughout the Highway 395, so he was able to get up to Mammoth, no problem. They even have a, a Tesla supercharger up there in Mammoth, up there in the mountains. But instead of using that, you know, he was going on hikes and, you know, bowling and, you know, having a good time, you know, bike riding, whatever, mountain stuff. And so his car is just sitting at his cabin. I thought it was so cool seeing his car plugged in for the whole weekend that he was there. He had, a, he had his Model 3 plugged in on a trickle charge. A trickle charge, you know, or your standard 120 volt outlet, the same kind of outlet where you would plug in your phone if you wanted to charge in your phone, that gives you anywhere from two to four miles per hour of charging. That's about one mile every 15 minutes. But hey, if you're plugged in f all night, eight hours, or even over a whole weekend, a whole day, it doesn't matter how slow it is because, you know, it, or it doesn't matter how, how fast your, your car is charging because it's going to get those miles no matter what. It just takes a little longer. And especially if you're somewhere, you know, parked for a while, it, you know, really doesn't make that big of a difference. So that's level one, that's a trickle charge. Again, only for emergencies or, you know, if your car's just sitting there, it's fine. Or if you don't drive that, that much, you have, a, you have an EV, you have an outlet in your, your garage, you don't wanna use the dryer outlet or whatever, um, that's your last resort. Number two is the level two, and that is in the form of what they call a J plug. That's short for J1772. That's the standard plug for North America for a 240 volt outlet. And that's the most common. You can actually install this at your house. And when people install plugs at their house to charge their car, this is what they're talking about. They're talking about a J plug. And there's a lot of different companies you can go with. Personally, at my house or at my parents' house, I put a charge point J plug there. It works great. It, my car, the Chevy Volt, only get pulls 10 miles per hour. So about you know four hours or four and a half hours to charge the car. My brother, he has a Ford Focus electric. That's an all electric car. And on the same plug at the same station, because his car is all electric and it can actually charge faster, with the exact same plug, he gets 20 miles 
on that same plug. I can only get 10. And so this is what makes the J plug really interesting because it more depends on your vehicle how much energy you get. Now there's some stations, the way they install it, they'll have a split power. So, you know, if two, pl if two cars are plugged in at once, both cars will only get 10 miles an hour and then a car leaves and, you know, goes back to full power. But what's so cool about J-Plug is, for example, if you have a Tesla, Tesla Model 3, and you get like an 80 amp wiring for your J-Plug, you can get, I think, up to 30, 35, 40 miles uh, an hour on that same plug. If I were to plug into that same uh, J plug, I would only get 10 miles an hour, and that's just because of my car. But this is the most common. This is going to be at your house if you install it at your house, and if you shop or you know you have chargers at your work, and your car is going to be sitting there for however many hours. This is your go-to. This is the most common. You're not going to use it on road trips. This is just um, you know while your car is sitting there anyway. Now let's talk about the fastest charging, the level three fast charger. This is primarily basic. The only time you're going to use this is if you can't charge at home and you'll find some place in the town to charge up your car real quick. But most people use this only when they're going on really long trips. They're going on road trips and you can only stop for 15 minutes or 30 minutes with some of the cars right now even a fast charge, it'll take just an hour, uh, which is still a really long time, but you could charge get 200 miles in that hour or so, or at least 100 miles. With the latest Model 3, with the fast charging, on level a level 3 fast charge, they could get technically, it, it's like a 1,000 a miles an hour at the fast charge, but the charging rates, that's the max speed with the fast charge. It'll go from a thousand miles to an hour and it'll go down as the battery starts to fill up. But nonetheless, you're only going to plug in the car for like 15, 20 minutes maybe, and you're going to get the majority of your juice back. And so the fast charger is really awesome. It's for road trips. And when people talk about electric vehicle infrastructure that's growing with, you know, the Tesla superchargers, with charge point, with EV Go. This is what they're talking about. They're talking about the level three fast chargers that make interstate travel possible. They make road trips possible. And yeah. Okay. Now let's talk about the next section. So we talked about the three different types of speeds. Let's talk about the three different types of plugs. And these three types of plugs are all fast chargers. They are the C CCS, or Combined Charging Station, I believe, something like that. It's a combo, CCS combo. Number two is Chatamo. That's the Japanese one. And number three is Tesla. That's the American one, uh, obviously. But, so what's so interesting is that Tesla is like the apple of electric cars. You cannot tr plug in a Chevy bolt into a Tesla supercharger. Tesla superchargers are only for Teslas. They only fit Teslas. It's just like the the lightning plug. There's there's no adapter for it. Um, Teslas are the fastest. They're amazing. They're really really cool. But other plugs are catching up. And the best non-Tesla plug out there in North America right now is CCS Combo. And that can allow for a speed of up to 350 kilowatts right now. And that's with uh, Electrify America. CCS is awesome. The majority of non-Tesla cars have signed on to CCS. That's Ford, that's Chevy, um, Hyundai, Kia, a lot of different manufacturers that are not... Um, the Japanese ones, they're all going with CCS. So the new Ford Mach-E that's coming out, GM's future cars, Ford's future cars, they're all going to be CCS. 
and luckily those are very very common um, electrify america all their stations support ccs if you see four stations that means four ccs cars can plug in but only one of them is has a chatmo plug and chatmo is what the nissan leaf uses to fast charge their car there's some like the there's some mitsubishi cars that use chatmo to fast charge but primarily right now the most popular Chatamo car in the US is the Nissan Leaf. And my biggest criticism for this is that they're not so common. It's a completely different plug than what the CCS combo uses. The CCS combo it simply adds two pins to the normal J plug. It looks very similar to the J plug and it's the same outlet basically. The Chatamo, it's a completely separate plug. So if you look at a Nissan Leaf when it charges, you'll see one plug is for the J plug for level two, and then the other plug is for Chatamo for fast charging. Not that big of a criticism, not that big of a deal, but lately or before, Chatamo was slower, CCS was um, a lot faster, at least in the United States, but that's changing. So Chatamo, they already have a new version out there that they're rolling out that can do up to 400 kilowatts I think it's really 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 fast which is awesome the thing is is all of us we're, we're kind of having a format wars right now if you remember the last format war with uh, HD DVD and blu-ray and before that it was Betamax and VHS and uh, more recently with cell phones you know you've had Apple's proprietary connector versus USB and there's all these different types of USB cables. You know, I had a Samsung Galaxy S5 and that used one type of USB that only worked on that phone. And then uh, now the standard is kind of coming down to the USB type C. Now, hopefully in North America, we will get our act together and have just one standard plug but it seems like we're going to have a couple different plugs for a while. I think Tesla's the best plug. It's the smallest. It's the sleekest. It's the fastest right now. It's amazing. It's really, really cool. CCS is, and Chatamo are both pretty bulky. Um, they're both competing for influence right now, but it seems like the majority of electric cars out there that are non-Tesla support CCS combo. And that's what I'm rooting for. I think that's amazing. It would be great if Tesla did the same thing in North America, what they did in Europe, Europe basically forced them and said, hey, you can't use your own proprietary connectors anymore. Just like how they told Apple, Apple, you can't use your proprietary connectors anymore for your phones. You can only use USB-C. We're trying to get everybody on board, um, you know, just have one standard and that's awesome. Um, but right now we're gonna have a few of these competing connectors right now. And this might last a little bit longer than you might think because charge points latest stations and EV goes latest stations they support both CCS and combo so you pull up to these stations and it really doesn't matter there's really no preference um, but some companies like electrify America under Volkswagen they're if they if, if you go to a, an electrify America site and you see 10 stations all 10 of those are capable of using a CCS combo. So your Ford Focus Electric, for example, or, or your Chevy Bolt, um, or your Hyundai Kona Electric, or your Hyundai Ionic EV. Those can all use CCS there. But if you have a Leaf, only literally only one of those 10 stations have the Chatamo. So you can tell that they're even though the law required them to not promote a certain vehicle uh, or a certain you know manufacturer what have you they're all in on CCS they only put the one the one plug there just to make that rural happy um, so if you if you're gonna buy a leaf in the next couple of years and you're planning on doing road trips and you're gonna need to fast charge um, you're gonna have less options available to you you'll, you'll still be able to drive across the country um, but it might be a little bit more of a challenge so right now the two major ones in the US are Tesla and CCS okay so that about does it we talked about the three different charging speeds level one two and three the tri trickle charge that normal standard 110 outlet 
We talked about the J plug level two, which is a 240 volt outlet. We talked about level three fast charge, which is a 400 volt outlet. And then we talked about the three different types of plug, uh, fast charging plugs, and that's Tesla's proprietary plug and then Chatamo and CCS. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you learned something. I enjoyed talking about this. If you have any questions, if you're curious about the electric vehicle charging, you're thinking about it getting an electric car and you have any questions, please feel free to leave, leave a comment and I'd be happy to either answer, respond directly, or you know make it a topic for my next video. Thank you so much and talk to you guys later.